Hey everybody, welcome to N90X. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my ESXi 6.0 running on my Riverbed server. Now, it works fine on the hardware, but it does require a few tweaks, which I'm going to show you. This, you can see, is one of the Riverbeds that I've upgraded to four CPUs, quad core and I have another video on how to do that. This hardware, this, this hardware is not on the HCL or the hardware compatibility list, hardware compatibility list for VMware. So it requires a little bit of work to get it to work. You see there's uh, four drives in this device, 256 gig uh, hard drives, and I've got two virtual machines already installed, PF, Sans, and Windows 7. 64 bit. So, how do we get this installed? You. This applies to pretty much any server that you can think of that's not on the hardware compatibility list, this process. And what you have to do is if you're having trouble installing it, or typically what you'll see is it starts to install and then it hangs during that process. And if you have that situation, here's what you can do. When the server boots up, you know, assuming you have a ESXi 6.0 CD or a boot USB, when it boots, on the screen you should see a indication that says shift, press shift dash O or shift O to modify the install. So when you see that, press shift O, you usually have about five or six seconds to do it, and then you want to type in this, and I'll put this in the description box. It's ignore headless, capital H for headless, equals true with a capital T. That will allow you to get through the entire installation process. And that'll get you through the install, right? Of course, that is only part of the solution. That's the first part. You need to be able to get the ESXi fully installed before you can do anything else. But now after it's installed, you want to <clears throat> make sure that you've enabled the shell or enabled and or enabled SSH. I've enabled both, so I have shell access and SSH. I do not currently have a video card in this ESX server, but you, you do need it on the initial install in order to do this the, the easiest way unless you're using some um, serial port monitoring, but it's too complicated to go through that. Best to have a, a video card in there. So after you've installed it, either get to the shell uh, on the console if the video card's still installed, or SSH into the shell, and you're gonna type in this after configuration information. So it's ESXCFG- ADVCFG space dash lowercase k, then the word true in all caps, and then the ignore headless once again with a capital H. Again, I'll have this in the description box below. When you do this, it'll give you a confirmation. It may ask you for your password. I'm assuming that you know how to install ESX. You put a password in there, and that will make the change persistent or permanent. So then you'll have no problem like I have here. So any server that's on the not on the hardware compatibility list or the HCL, this may resolve it. It certainly did resolve it for the Riverbed 1050. And I wanted to do a separate video on the XServe, the Apple XServe 2008, about installing VMware ESXi 6. However, I just want to tell you, it, it just, I burnt it with the CD, put it into the drive that was that came with the server, had an empty drive, installed it, it just went right to the disk, installed it, no problem. It even identifies it as an Apple 2,1. However, if you have an Apple server with the Apple RAID um, module or RAID, RAID array built in, it does not work properly. You cannot see the additional drives. You only see one drive the first time. For some reason, ESX I does not is not recognized. It's not on the hardware compatibility list. That, that RAID card is not on the hardware compatibility list. 
I have not found a way around it. So while you can run ESX i6 on a normal uh, XServe server, if it has the RAID card in there, the Apple RAID card, you're going to have problems running it. So that's the only limitation. All right, well, I hope this has been helpful to you. I've spent, as you can imagine, hours and hours putting all this information together, making it happen for the captain, and you're the captain. You're the captain for this ship, uh, after I've done it for myself. So uh, I would really appreciate it if you, if this has been helpful to you and saved you time and money, please consider making a contribution to this channel. Go to www.n90x.info, and up in the upper right-hand corner, there should be a contribution box. And thanks again for watching. Really appreciate your support. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.